Lost that metal clip that goes in her. I don't know where it went, so you know, it hangs down. Most of the stuff in here is just vines. Like, you know, some of these pine trees are dead. I might just have to cut them. Like, this one don't even have a top. But, you know, as a pine tree like this, and it's got, it's alive, but just the vines are killing it. So all, all the vines in here have to go. All the low-lying brush i gotta brush hog it remove it so you can probably i guess come in here and cut the grass if you had to because this is a nice little pine grove in here and this client actually owns six acres up in here and that whole farmhouse down there but she just closed on the property next door which is another i think 10 acres and that property line is like right here so now this is that 10 acres and at some point I gotta take a boat out of the woods up in here. So this will probably be in a later video because um, that should be pretty interesting because it's pretty, pretty far ways down to where it's open and you can't really get a truck up here. So I'm probably gonna, the best thing is my tractor. It's registered in New Jersey. I don't think it's even worth fixing it. It probably leaks and it's also, it's an in, it was an inboard motor. That's always a pain. Looks like the transom wood was just cut out anyway. It's, it's shot. But it's definitely nice up in here. Very quiet. It's a bunch of road signs there. No way. 45 mile an hour. Let's turn ahead. It's kind of cool. Stop sign. 45 mile an hour. There's a street sign here. Stagecoach. Ask her if she wants these. I kind of want them. I just built a run-in building that I want to put in. I think it was shown earlier in this video, but uh, I want to put some signs at the back of it. I think it'd be pretty cool. Let's start clearing this out.
trying to brush all backing up here. I don't know, this wasn't spinning. I think I lost that. It might have completely sheared off. Oh yeah, that ain't good. Got one more. So that's what's left. Much luck today. <laughs> Rolled the tractor over along there. I don't think there's much damage, honestly. I'm fine too. So I think it was just log right here. It was a slow fall. It wasn't quick. But we're gonna get this thing tipped over, and it's probably gonna have to sit for a couple days. something like a root maybe just keep yanking
think it just leaked a little bit of coolant. That was it. No oil. But we're going to try and get it down to her running building there. So it's sitting flat for a while before we actually start this thing again. sit in here for a few days and let all the fuel fluid settle and give it a good look over before we start it and finish the job later this week but I went pretty good